I'm David Howell, the Head of Development at East Midlands Airport. I was involved with the technical side of the construction of the turbines that you can see behind me. The turbines are 30 metres high with a 15 metre blade and were constructed on site. Um, the two of those which we're calling T3 and T4 in line to install some more um, in the near future. The base construction were 7.5 metres by 7.5 metres by 2.5 metres deep and contained 100 cube of concrete and 9 tonnes of reinforcing bar. The technical side is for these to interface with the airport's electricity supply so they will generate at 400 volts and then feed into the high voltage network for East Midlands Airport at 11,000 volts. That will be transmitted around the site and will feed about 5-10% to of the airport's energy need. With the issues constructing them on the airport, we have to make sure that they are within the transitional slope from the runway. This means that they cannot be more than 45 metres high at the points that we chose for, for the construction. This gave a few technical problems actually sourcing the correct turbines for this application. When checking throughout Europe, we found that there were only three manufacturers that could source the, the turbines that we could use on site. So we undertook a, quite a competitive tendering procedure to make sure that we got the best scale of uh, economies and the best turbine fit for purpose for use at East Midlands Airport. Windtechnik Nord, a German company with a successful contractor, and they undertook to construct these turbines within about a three month period. The towers were manufactured in Germany and the nacelle came from India. They arrived on a Sunday afternoon and were completed within seven days. Final technical issues were being resolved the following week and they were spinning within 10 days of installation. My name is Neil Robinson, I'm the Director of Sustainability here at East Midlands Airport. We think that climate change is very important, important for us all, and we think it's important that we all do our bit. So for us here at East Midlands Airport, We've set ourselves what is a really quite a challenging target to make our buildings and our vehicles carbon neutral by 2012. Part of that is to install some wind turbines here at the airport and we've installed the first two of what are four planned wind turbines. They're big turbines, they stand 45 metres tall. We're the first airport in the UK to source commercial turbines like this and we think that together they'll give us about 10% of our electricity requirement. That's going to save us about 300 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions each year and to put that in perspective that's something like about 125 local homes so quite a big contribution to what is really quite a challenging target for us to make our operations carbon neutral. There's a whole series of things that we're doing here at the airport site. We're designing our buildings very sensitively and carefully to make them more energy efficient and we've even planted our own willow farm here. We've planted 26 hectares of willow, which we plan to use to chip up to make wood fuel, to make a carbon neutral fuel to heat and cool the terminal building. And we're very pleased that we're the first airport in the UK to be doing this. It's part of our overall strategy and we do think it's important that we all do our bit. We all do our bit at work, we all do our bit at home um, to drive down our carbon emissions and this is part of our overall strategy to make our airport operations, our buildings and our vehicles carbon neutral by 2012.